Hello friends, my name is Gisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to write uh, more than one controller in a Spring MVC application and I will show you how to write a multiple request handler uh, method in uh, different uh, uh, Spring MVC controller classes. So my agenda is to show you, I mean all concept in, all, all concept related to the Spring MVC in bits and pieces and finally uh, after few videos will uh, create some complex MBC uh, Spring MBC application. So let's go ahead and create a web based application. So right click over here and select a option is called dynamic web based project and I would say project name multi multi controller MVC web app. This is the project name and keep everything as default and click on the next button then again next and finally click on the finish button. So this is the project just I have created. So in this leap directory I am going to uh, paste all dependent jars. So in this leap directory I have copied all dependent jars. Uh, now, uh, some of the files I am going to copy from my previous example uh, that you have seen in my previous video tutorial uh, like uh, this folder which is inside the web content as well as uh, dispatcher sublet and web.xml I am going to copy from this project and I will paste in the web INF directory. Now, uh, let's uh, uh, copy this guy, this controller package itself. Uh, let's paste in this HRC directory. And that's it. These are the things I have copied. So now here, uh, some of the things I'm going to delete from here. And uh, I don't want this method as well. So let's delete it. And uh, here uh, I'm going to rename this class as home controller something like that click on the next next and finish so as i have shown in in previous video tutorial uh, we had written some uh, request handler method inside the controller and we had given the return type as model and view so uh, it's not mean that always we'll have to specify the return type as model and view so re, uh, so you can have a more than one request handler method within the single controller and return type of those request handler method you can write either a string or model and view so these are the two inputs you can specify so here i'm going to specify the return type as a string and here i'm going to return uh, a string is called home right so this is basically my logical view name right so as we had discussed in the previous video tutorial my request handler method is going to return home so basically dispatcher sublet will contact to the resource view resolver and that logical view name will be prefixed with this and suffixed with this so complete path would be webinf slash web views slash home.jsp so in view directory we'll have to create a home.jsp just i'm going to rename this guy home.jsp and here i'm going to hard code a message something like home page okay so this flow is almost completed now i'm going to create another controller so i'm going to con create a user controller something like that So it's a user controller, right? And uh, this class I'm gonna annotate as at the rate controller. So it's a stereotype annotation, which makes this class as a MVC controller. And in this MVC controller, I'm going to create some uh, request handler method like uh, here you can see in this uh, here method name I'm going to specify uh, 
some meaningful name instead of welcome welcome i will specify visit home visit home and uh, path would be slash itself now go to the user controller here i am going to declare uh, i am going to define some more request handler method in this uh, controller class so first of all i am going to specify return type of this is model and view right so model uh, and view and i would say list users sorry so this is the request handler method name and uh, and this guy is going to return object of model and view so i would say model and view and i'm going to choose this constructor which previously we had used so that takes first name as the view name second is the model uh, name and third is the model object itself so view name i'm going to specify uh, before that i will annotate this class as request sorry request mapping and value i'm going to specify url pattern as uh, list users right slash list users and here view name i'm going to specify logical view name list users and i would say list user message and here just i'm going to hard code instead of returning list of users just i'm going to hard code a message list of users returned something like that this message right so now i'm going to write some more request handler method and i will rename this method as next method i'm going to specify save user something like save user save user and uh, url pattern slash save user and uh, here i would say logical view name save users and i would say save user message right and here i'm going to specify message user data is saved okay now next matter i'm going to specify delete user so delete user right and here just i'm going to specify a uh, user object because we are going to save a user right so let's create this class as well so uh, this class i'm going to create in the model package so basically this user uh, i'm not really going to store uh, somewhere in the database or any in memory database so just i want to invoke these methods i want to show you how we can invoke these methods right and delete users here also you can pass the user information right which you want to delete and i would say delete user right and logical view name i'm going to specify delete user and i would say delete user message and i would say user sorry user data is deleted something like this right okay so we have a three request handler method in this controller and i'm going to create three view page over here in this view directory so all our jsps so here i'm going to specify this jsp name and here i'm going to print a message in h2 size i will print a message and message will be we can retry get this key right like this and similarly i'm going to create uh, another save user.jsp right click over here click on jsp and save user 
again I'm gonna space print output which is coming from the controller in size S2 and model uh, name would be that is save user so save user message so like this and finally in this controller we have to create delete user JSP right so let's create a delete user JSP and here I'm going to print a message which is coming from the controller in size of S2 itself and uh, model object name we can get it from here and that is nothing but the delete user message and then I'm going to print it over here and close all files so we have our four JSPs file uh, one model class and two controller right so almost we are good to go now and this file already I had explained to you this is not required because service class we have deleted so, th so this things already I explained in previous video tutorial and web.xml basically we have an entry of dispatcher servlet which works as a controller in a spring mpc now let's run this project and see what output so once we'll run this project then first of all this home controller this method will be invoked right so who, who is having the url pattern as slash and home.jsp will be forwarded to the client so we'll we'll see this message right so home dot jsp would be forwarded to the client so let's run this application and see And here we got the home.jsp right now if I uh, if I would want to um, uh, call uh, I would want to call uh, users request handler method then uh, we can call like this slash users right if you press enter then URL pattern would be slash list users and uh, HTTP method would be get if we do not specify any HTTP method then that would be the gate so this will return this model and view object so this is our logical view name so physical view, view name would be list users.jsp and we are storing this message in this key right that is model name and that we are trying to print by retrieving the JSP inspection language which is we are trying to print it over here so let's press enter and see what output we are getting and here, here we got the list of user return similarly if you want to invoke save users then let's see so instead of slash list users we have to invoke save users right and here we get the user data is saved and similarly one more request handler method we have a which is having the url pattern uh, delete user and we can invoke this method as well by uh, slash delete user and we get the output from this method right so basically uh, I mean concept which are related to the spring MVC just trying to uh, we learn in the bits and pieces right so that uh, in future video tutorials we can uh, create us some complex application and uh, I would expect uh, so after co covering all basic concept in spring frame framework if i create some complex application then you would have uh, i mean all basic concept so that you can learn those things very easily so right so in this video today i have shown you how to write a multiple controller and uh, if you want to write a multiple request handler method uh, with some certain url patterns and request method in this video i have seen all request is uh, all request handler method is uh, we are calling by http method get itself so so that that's it i have in this video tutorial so thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial